Hey y'all, happy Sunday. Cheers. It's the first, the end of the first week of October. Uh, the weather finally broke. You see, I got my long sleeve shirts on again. The month of September was terrible here. It was the uh, fourth or fifth hottest, no, fourth or fifth, yeah, fourth or fifth hottest ever and was the driest September we ever had. Uh, depending on where you lived in the city, you either got a tenth of an inch or two tenths of an inch or nothing. Uh, I counted uh, seven drops one day. So that's how much rain we had in the month of September. But uh, September's gone. So I thought I'd show the Blackstone some love today and uh, do a quick little cook. Ain't nothing fancy. Some bacon, eggs, some potatoes. And these potatoes, just red potatoes, I rinsed them off, throw them in a, sliced them, throw them in a pot of water with a teaspoon of salt. Brought it to a boil and then just turned it off and uh, let it cool. And then uh, I just cut down the cooking time out there on the Blackstone. And then uh, I sliced up a red onion here and used a little bit over here. Uh, this is going to be for my scrambled eggs. Terry wants fried eggs, so these are going in the potatoes. I already salted the potatoes, so I don't think I need any more. So we're going to do a black pepper, a little sang stir-fry oil, some garlic powder, and a little bit of sweet smoked paprika. Bacon and eggs. And uh, I like buying this cheap bacon. Uh, you can see somewhere it says uh, irregular slices. Yeah, anyways, uh, you may get a piece that's two inches thick, and you may get eight pieces to make up a thin slice of bacon. But I like the way it tastes, and uh, it's good for seasoning meats and stuff. And just throwing out, I'll turn the Blackstone. Uh, the grease can't hurt Blackstone, so. So, let me get out there, get that thing fired up, and then and we'll come outside in a minute and show you how we put this breakfast together. Back in a few. Okay, uh, I've got this fired up. Uh, these are probably medium-low. I don't know how hot I'm going to need my fires yet. But we're going to start off with some Sang Stir Fry Oil. And, uh, give us some good flavors going on there. I'm gonna need some vegetable oil later, I don't know yet. Put our potatoes down. Well, we got a sizzle anyway. Spread them about a bit. A little bit of fresh cracked jack. Garlic powder, just however much you want. And a little bit of sweet smoked paprika. Sweet smoked paprika. I gotta make sure I use the sweet because if I use the hot, carry a throw something at me. You got it. And we'll put our onions on there. And we'll let that go for a few minutes and I'll start getting my bacon out and getting it down. And uh, that's where we are now. We'll be back in a few. Okay, I ended up, I turned all my burners down low. And uh, I didn't have this burner on to start with. But, so they're all down on low. I just uh, flipped the potatoes over. All the bacon's on. You can see these are kind of funky looking slices. But... I like the way this bacon tastes. So, bacon's going, potatoes are going. We'll be back in a minute. Okay, this here bacon is done, so I'm gonna pull that. Just lay it on this paper towel here. Take some of that fat. That'll be good on eggs. And you see this uh, this bacon cooks a lot of grease out of it. Which that's okay, that's more flavor. Move that over. Give our potatoes another toss. I did turn this fire up on this side, this burner. 
it's up about three fourths of the way now. But they ain't got much longer to go. Be back in a minute. Okay, uh, bacon's all done. I'm gonna put some onions on here for my eggs. Get them going. See if I can't fry Terry a couple eggs and, without screwing them up. them off. Yep, you lose one. And I'll flip this egg before I take some potatoes off. Not good. Not good. Okay, give me a plate. Without busting the yolk. Ooh, cool. How the hell did I do that? I don't know. Been a while. I'll throw me some eggs on there, get them scrambled up, because I don't eat fried eggs. Put some little fresh cracked jack on there. And my eggs, I never salt my eggs on any of them until they're done cooking. I never saw my eggs while they're cooking. What are you going to put your eggs on? Oh, i got to find something. I don't know. You can just put them on this plate. Oh, I can turn all this off. Well, that's what we did today, man. Just a quick little cook on the Blackstone. I needed to get out of here and show it some love. So we get everything took off of here, and then we'll go inside and make this plate and show you what we ended up with. So, we'll be back in a few. Okay, that's what I ended up with. And I normally would put uh, ketchup on my potatoes. Damn, that was spicy. But, uh, um, wasn't expecting that. I'm going to use this sauce that, uh, <coughs> Larice brought down here on Labor Day. She brought this down here on Labor Day, and it's friggin' yummy stuff, man. Put a little on the onion, eggs, and uh, a little bit on the potatoes. A little? Oh my god. <laughs> And uh, we'll try the eggs first. Been eating one. Well. Funny thing about the Reese's sauce here. It's a hot sauce. It's got some heat. It's not overpowering. But when you first put it in your mouth, it is so sweet. You get so much sugar out of it. I mean, it's just sweet. The heat comes later. But uh, it's good stuff, man. So, that's what we did today, y'all. A 
basic Blackstone breakfast. So, y'all have a good one. We'll be back next time, hopefully, with some real cooking. And uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers.